Bananas in pyjamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas in pyjamas are coming down in pairs. Bananas in pyjamas are chasing teddy bears. Cause on Tuesdays they will try to catch them on the way. is nice, Dolly, but a little too showy. Showy? I don't think it suits you at all. Really? Really. Uh, but don't take my word for it. Come and ask our friends. I'm sure they'll like it. This big umbrella is just what we need on a hot sunny day, B2. <laughs> we can spend the whole day sitting under it, B1. Yeah! Hello? It is me. <laughs> oh. ah. What a lovely new hat, Dolly. Thank you. So you do think it's nice, then? It's pyjama -rific. Don't you think it's a little too showy, Bananas? No. no. A little too fancy, maybe? Oh, oh no. no. Well, I never. You see, Camembert, I told you our friends would like it. Oh. You should show it to everyone, Dolly. What a good idea, Bananas. Being a rat in a hat, I know my hats. And I know that this is the most delightful hat I've ever seen. Thank you, everyone. It's just a little thing I threw together. Good morning, everyone. So nice to see you all today. Wow, wow, wow! What a hat! Oh, what wonderful tassels! Oh, I spoke too soon. Your hat, Camembert, is the most delightful hat I've ever seen. But, but what about my new hat? Oh, your hat's very good, Dolly. But Camembert's hat is spectacular! You did this because you're jealous of my new hat. Jolly, please! It's you who's jealous of my new hat. Me? Jealous? I'm afraid so, Dolly. What an awful thing to say. Well, I never. Never, ever. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. oh. What do you think, B2? It has been a couple of hours now, B1. Dolly and Camembert can't still be arguing. Because they're best friends. And best friends never argue for long. Hello! Come in, Bananas. Everything sounds OK, B1. They're good friends again. Oh! Hello, Bananas. Hi, Dolly. Nice to see you, Bananas. Um, hello, Camembert. What are all the lines about? They mean that someone must stay on their side of our home. And the other someone must stay on their side of the home. <laughs> it looks like they're still arguing. Time for the surprise then, B1. Dolly, Camembert, we'd like to invite you to a picnic today. Will you come? I'd love to come to a picnic. But does the jealous one have to be there? A picnic would be wonderful. But does the jealous one have to come? You're both invited. And we'd like you both to come. Oh, very well. <laughs> would anyone like tea? Yes, please. I'd offer you a crunchy, munchy honey cake. But they're on her side. And I'd offer you some delicious apple. But the apples are on her side. Dolly? Camembert, isn't it time you stopped this? Why get so upset over some silly hats? Silly hats? Uh, I mean, the hats are great. It's the argument that's silly. You've got to forget your argument. Well, what do you say? I'll forget all about it if someone apologises to me. And I'll forget all about it if someone apologises to me. Bananatastic. All you have to do is apologise to each other. Oh, no. I'm not apologising. And I definitely won't apologise. Huh? Well, I never. Never, ever. <gasps> 
This hasn't worked at all. How can we get Dolly and Camembert to be friends again? They won't be friends until they apologise. If you ask this rat, it's Dolly who should apologise. She's so jealous of Camembert's hat. Yes, rat, but Camembert's also jealous of Dolly's hat. That's right. That's wrong. Camembert's hat is so much better than Dolly's hat. But don't you agree, Bananas? Uh... No way, Rat. Dolly's hat's the best. That's right, Morgan. Don't you think so, Bananas? Uh... Honestly, you two don't know anything about hats. You might be a rat in a hat, but you've got a lot to learn about hats. Well, I never! Never, ever. Stop, stop! Now everyone's arguing about hats. It's very silly. You're right, Bananas. Let's all agree. No more arguments. I'm sorry, Rat. And I'm sorry too, Amy. Much, Much better. better. We still have a big problem. We have to get Dolly and Camembert to be friends again. But how do we do that? First, we have to get them together. Then we have to get them to talk. And then we have to remind them what good friends they've always been. Ah, uh, <laughs> I have it! Gather round, everyone, and Rat will reveal all. I can tell you a little story. new hat in his shop. New hat? Whoever owns that hat would be the most stylish sheep in Cuddlestown. Or the most classy cow in Cuddlestown. Stylish sheep? Classy cow? Oh, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> well, that part of Rat's plan worked. It's up to Rat and the Bananas now. <laughs> well, I never, never, ever. Do, 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 do. I see you're admiring the galaxy hat. Ooh. Ooh. I must have it, Rat. It must be mine, Rat. I would love to give it to both of you. Alas, I've already promised it to someone else. Who? Hello, Rat. We've come to pick up our hat. Is it ready yet? All ready and waiting, Bananas. The hat is for them? The Bananas? Yes, indeed. Aren't they lucky? pajama rific <laughs> Please, Bananas, can I have the hat? Oh, Bananas, please let me have it. Hmm. Seeing you both want it so much, we could give it to one of you. Me! 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 me, me, me. But first you have to show us your photo album. Our photo album? Why? Yes, why? Whoever's photos we like the best... We'll get the hat. We'll do it. We'll get our photo album right away. <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's best friends forever time. I hope you're right, Bananas. I don't know why you still want that hat, Camembert. It will suit me much better than you. Puppy cock, Dolly, that hat is perfect for me. <laughs> <laughs> I should take it. No, I should. Half of these photographs are mine. And half are mine. <gasps> then we'll have to both take the album to the bananas. Very well, then. <laughs> Here they come. Everything's ready. <laughs> bananas! Here it is. Our photo album. When can I have the hat? Please say it's mine, Bananas. First, we have to look at your photos. What's this one? That's just us having a birthday party. We have birthdays on the same day. What about this one? We're just playing in the park there. We love these photos. What's going on here? <laughs> That's when I fell into the river. And then I fell in. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. It was, wasn't it? 
This is a nice one. We're looking at the clouds. We love clouds. Skipping through flowers. We had such fun. Walking on the beach together. <laughs> you two have done everything together. You make a great team. What a shame you're arguing now. And just over a silly old hat. Oh, Camembert, I'm so sorry. Oh, Dolly, I'm so sorry too. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Does this mean you're best friends again? Forever. And ever and ever. So what do we do with this now? We'd like to keep it, but we won't wear it. We'll just have it to remind us never to have silly arguments again. Then here it is! Yeah. Whoa! Who turned out the lights? All I need is my screwdriver. <laughs> oh, sneeze and whiskers. Poor rat, you don't sound good. And you don't look good. I don't feel good. <laughs> oh, what can I do for you, Bananas? If you're not well, maybe you should go to bed. Oh, believe me, there's nothing I'd like more than to curl up in bed with my red and white snuggle blanket. <sighs> but I must keep my customers happy. And I can't do that if my shop is closed, can I? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's look after rat's shop time! Look after my shop? <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe I do need a lie down. All right, Bananas, you can look after my shop. Jammerific! Uh, but just remember, there's one rule you must always follow. What's, What's that? that? Always keep my customers happy. No problem. You can rely on us, Rat. Oh, thank you, Bananas. Get well soon! Rat's shop is open for business. <laughs> 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 Are you all right, Topsy? Uh, fine, thanks, Bananas. But I think that's enough muddy puddles for one day. Your paws are muddy, Topsy. I can soon fix that. Rat! Yoo-hoo! Customer! Shh, Topsy. Rat's in bed. Oh, then who's in charge of the shop? We are! What can we get for you? I need to buy something to clean up my muddy paws. No problem. At your service. Slight problem, B1. We don't know where Rat keeps anything. But we promised to keep his customers happy. Something wrong, Bananas? Ah, uh, no. Not a thing, Topsy. We'll find you something to clean up that mud in no time. <laughs> Help, B1. Coming, B2. You found the answer, B2. I have? This old stripy blanket is perfect for mud cleaning. Oh, it's perfect, B1. What do I owe you? Um, how about one honey cake? One honey cake it is. Thanks, Bananas. Bye! Our very first sale. And one happy customer. And when Rat finds out we sold that scruffy old blanket, he'll be happy too. Pajamarific! Thanks, Bananas. Anything else, Morgan? Uh, just the ice block, thanks. What about Lulu and Amy? You can't go home without something for them. What about some ice cream? Uh... Thanks, Bananas, but our freezer is broken. We've got nowhere to keep the ice cream. Oh, dear. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's Cell Rat's freezer time! Are you sure Rat won't mind? We're positive. Rat asked us to keep his customers happy. But how much will all this cost? Uh, um, okay. ice block. Plus ice cream. 
plus a freezer, one, one honey, honey cake. cake. Wow! That's a bargain! A happy bargain! Thanks, Bananas. Um, just one question. How will I get the freezer home? Uh, I know. We'll deliver it. Yes. Leave it to us, Morgan. Hi, Morgan! Bananas? Wow! That is one amazing delivery service. As long as Rat's customers are happy, then we're happy too. Would you like some ice cream? No thanks, Morgan. We've got to get back to the shop. There might be another customer there. <laughs> but I ordered the plank last week. I'm sorry, Charlie. Rat didn't mention it to us. What do you need the plank of wood for? My latest invention. The fastest grass sled in Cuddlestown. Pajama Rama! It will be, but not without my plank. Oh, well, I'll just have to come back another day. Wait, Charlie. Rat asked us to keep his customers happy, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Your plank must be here somewhere, and we're going to find it. Really, Bananas? I don't want you to go to any trouble. No trouble at all, Charlie. We'll find it. Careful, Bananas. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Charlie, is this the sort of plank you're looking for? Hmm, it's a little longer than the one I ordered. How much is it? Um, um one honey cake? <laughs> Done. Thanks, Bananas. No problem, Charlie. Just use our free delivery service. Goodness, you really do know how to keep Rat's customers happy. Follow me, Bananas. Wow, Charlie, that grass sled looks banana-tastic. How fast does it go? Who knows? What I really need is someone to test it for me while I time it with my stopwatch. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's test the sled time! Thank you, Bananas. But don't you have to get back to Rat's shop? We promised Rat we'd keep his customers happy. And you are a customer, Charlie. So now we're helping to make you happy. Excellent! <laughs> Ready, Bananas? Ready, Charlie! Get set, go! <laughs> This is pajama terrific V2! banana rama V1! There's one thing we forgot, V1! What's that, V2? How do we stop? <laughs> <laughs> Bananas, say something! That was great! And that sled is fast, Charlie! It was fast! <laughs> I'm going to have to do a lot more work, I'm afraid. We'll leave you to it, Charlie. We have to get back to Rat's shop. He'll be so pleased when he hears we've sold his old plank. <sighs> you should be in bed, Rat. I just wanted to see how things were going. Things are great. Wonderful. We were just wondering where to put your new deliveries. Uh, if you need some extra shelves, there's a plank I was putting up earlier. A plank? Just attach it to the wall, then you can put lots of things on it. Uh... Thanks, Rat, but you should be in bed. Oh, I can't sleep. I really need my red and white stripy snuggle blanket. I can't find it anywhere. Red and white? And stripy? I've had it since I was a baby. I must have left it in the shop somewhere. We'll find it. Won't we be one? Of course we will. You go back to bed. All right, then. But please hurry, Bananas. We sold Rat's snuggle blanket to Topsy. And we sold Rat's freezer to Morgan. And we sold Rat's shelf to Charlie. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's buy everything back time. Sorry, Topsy. We didn't realise it was Rat's special snuggle blanket. We just thought it was a grubby old rag. No worries, Bananas. You can have it back. But it's not grubby anymore. I washed it. Isn't it pretty? Oh. Silly Bananas. Of course you can have it back. But that means our ice cream will melt again. I know. You can put your ice cream in our freezer. Until yours is fixed. And we promise not to eat it. Good idea. Thanks, Bananas.
We're sorry to have to ask you, Charlie. But we really need Rat's Plank back. Not a problem, Bananas. It means you'll have to take your grass sled apart. <laughs> Not really. Because thanks to you, Bananas, I found something even better. Watch this, Bananas! Woohoo! <laughs> Great! Now all we need to do is clean up the shop and everything will be perfect again. <laughs> We've done it, B2. Ah, oh. uh, hello, hello, Rat. Oh, I'm feeling a lot better for that rest. And gosh, look at my shop. It's never been so clean. Glad you like it, Rat. But there's something else that's clean too. What's that? Um, this. My snuggle blanket. It looks just like it did when it was new and I was a baby. You like it? Oh, I do indeed. Thank you, Bananas. No, no problem, problem, Rat. Rat. You really have done the most amazing job of looking after my shop. I never thought I'd say this, but you're welcome to look after it any time you like. What would you say to that, Bananas? Bananas? Oh, Bananas. Try it one more time, B1. One more time it is, B2. Oh no, Big Bad Wolf. We won't let you in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Banana Tastic! We're going to have so much fun being piggies in the three little piggies. Let's join the others for rehearsals. I love putting on plays, B2. Especially with our friends, B1. Let's make sure we've got the story right. The three little piggies each build a house. One house of straw, one house of sticks and one house of bricks. Then the big bad wolf comes along. <laughs> got you there, Bananas. Now tell me, was I scary? Very, very scary. That's what I want. The big bad wolf must be scary. I'm going to ask Lulu if I can be the wolf in the play. You'll be a pyjama-rific wolf, Rat. My thoughts exactly. Only a great actor like me can play a role like the big bad wolf. I'll meet you at rehearsal. I want to ask Lulu if I can be the big bad wolf. So I've got a huff and puff. You'll be a banana-tastic wolf, Topsy. <laughs> I think so too. See you at the rehearsal. Topsy will be a great big bad wolf. Just like Rat. Oopsie! Rat and Topsy both want to be the wolf. That's too many wolves. Poor Lulu. She'll have to choose. But Lulu, I'll be the better wolf. No one can act like me. Um, I'm the best wolf here, Lulu. No one can scare like me. Oh, I think you could both be good wolves. So I don't know how to choose. Here are the bananas. They'll tell you I should be the wolf. Uh, don't listen to him, bananas. There's only one wolf here and we know who that will be, right? Uh, you're both good. Both? You can both be wolves. Good thinking, bananas. We can have two wolves. Well, if two wolves is the only way to do it, then I suppose I'll have to agree. And what do you say, Topsy? If there's no other way, then two wolves it is. Banana-tastic! <laughs> Let's begin the rehearsal, everyone. Once upon a time, there were three little piggies. 
each piggy had to build a home to live in. This little piggy made a house of straw. This little piggy made a house of sticks. And this little piggy made a house of bricks. All the little piggies were snug and warm in their new homes. But little did they know that the big bad wolf, uh, uh, wolves, were coming. They were prowling and howling. Oh. Topsy, that isn't how you prowl. This is how you prowl. Grrr. Then you howl. Oh. That's no how. This. Is a how. Oh, I can howl better in my sleep. Keep it going, everyone. We've only got one rehearsal. <laughs> little pig, little pig, let us come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. That's great piggy acting, B1. It is B1, and I should know I am a piggy. Please stick to the story, piggies. Sorry. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and blow your house in. <gasps> the little piggy's house of straw blew away. <laughs> the wolves laughed at what they had done. <laughs> oh, you don't know how a big bad wolf really laughs, rat. It's like this. <laughs> That's no wolf laugh. This is a wolf laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <sighs> Let's all take a break. Oh dear, why did I say there could be two wolves? It'll never work. Really, Topsy? You're going to have to do much better. <gasps> it's you who has to improve, Rat. <laughs> Everyone's going to be here soon to see the play. I do hope there are no more problems. Lulu, I have a problem. Me too! What problem? The story doesn't make sense anymore. Two wolves together would blow down any house, even if it was made of bricks. But they can't blow down the piggy house of bricks. Otherwise, the story will be ruined. That's why we have to change the story. Change the story? I agree with Rat. We need a new story right now. But this is the greatest piggy story there is. You can't change it. Yes, we can. We should change it so that the wolves are the heroes. <gasps> That's it. I'm going. Let Pedro go if he wants to. We don't need him. We'll just call the play The Two Little Piggies. Yes. And now we wolves are the stars. Hey, we should change the title too. An excellent idea, Topsy. We'll call the play The Two Big Bad Wolves. Right on, Rat. But we don't want to be in The Two Big Bad Wolves. We want to be in The Three Little Piggies. Sorry, Bananas. We've already changed it. <laughs> bananas, where are you going? <laughs> Pedro! Ah, this is much better without all those piggies around. All we have to do is make up a new story. Let's start with us howling and prowling. Right! Oh. Oh. Uh, what do we do then? Um, what do you think we should do? We should... Uh, I don't know. Oh, this is no good at all. We have to think of something. Oh, no! Everyone's coming to see the play! Well, there's no time to think up a new story. Oh, what are we going to do? Uh, we have to get those piggies back! Then let's find them! <laughs> Can you see Pedro? I can't see anyone. Whoa! We found Pedro! What are you doing here, Bananas? We're looking for you. You've got to come back, Pedro. The play can't work without you. I don't want to be in the play with those two wolves changing everything. But all our friends are coming to see it. We can't let them down. Oh, I know. Please come back, Pedro. 
Our friends will be so upset if we don't put on a play for them. They've all been looking forward to it so much. I don't like it, but all right. But only because of our friends. Banana-tastic! He's not here. I can't find him either. Where can he be? Teddy's! We need you. We can't do the play without you. Or Pedro. Or the bananas. We won't make any more trouble. That's great, but we can't do the play now. It's too late. Too late? How can it be too late? We can't find the bananas or Pedro. What? what? We better go and apologise to everyone. I hope they won't be too disappointed. This is all your fault, Topsy. It's your fault, Rat. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the wolf huffed and puffed, but he couldn't blow down the house of bricks. <gasps> Pedro and the bananas are doing the play without us. That's impossible. No, it isn't. So the wolf dropped down the chimney, but he landed right in the fire and burned his bushy tail. <laughs> he ran away as fast as he could, and the piggies never saw him again. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> and whiskers. They did do it without us. And brilliantly. You three really deserve your honey cakes after that great show. Thank you. But why didn't you wait for us? We couldn't wait. Everyone was ready to see the play. So we had to do it all. And with the proper story too. But we wanted to be the wolves. We would have been excellent wolves. Maybe you can be wolves some other time. Next time, we'll do a play about Little Red Riding Hood. That story has a wolf. You're right, Bananas. It does. Except our story will have two wolves. And you can both be wolves like this. <laughs> <laughs> of the day. What's that? Hello? Is someone there? Oh, I'm sure I heard something. Oh, my jelly! Where's my jelly? Well, that's jelly. Well, there's a trail of jelly. Well, this is very strange. Where does this jelly trail lead? Jelly! And more jelly! This is where the trail ends. Oh, what's wrong with that fountain? Is that a... Ah! It's a jelly. My jelly? Oh, I found you. You're safe with me now. But this jelly's red. My jelly was yellow. How can that be? Oh, my. Two jellies? Is it possible? Oh, a third jelly? Oh, this is incredible! A fountain that gushes jelly like water! And I found it. Me! <laughs> Rat in a hat! Oh, I must tell everyone! Uh, can't have any what, Rat? What's the secret? 
<laughs> There's no secret. And if there was a secret, it wouldn't be about jellies. Oh, trust me, I'm a rat. Um, okay, rat. Bye then. Uh, what are you doing? We're just going for a walk to the park. You can't go to the park. Why not? There's something down there. Something big. Oh, nasty. <laughs> Very nasty. Really? Yes, and you should stay right away from it. <laughs> what is it? It's a... It's lions. Lions? Yes, lions. You don't want to go near lions. Oh, they're very dangerous. Especially towards bananas. Gosh. We'd better warn all our friends. Yes, good idea, bananas. Tell everyone to stay well away from the park. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am B1. It's warned everyone about lion's time! <laughs> oh, silly rat. Couldn't you think of something better than lions? Oh, cheese and whiskers. Uh, after you again, B2. After you again, B1. Thank you! <laughs> Teddies, we've got to tell you something. What is it, Bananas? We've got lions! Lions? Lions here in Cuddlestown. Lions? In Cuddlestown? Yes! Did you see them? No, but Rat told us all about them. Rat told you? He said they're in the park. And we should stay right away. Because they're very dangerous. Bananas, there are no lions in Cuddlestown. But why would Rat tell us that if it isn't true? Because he's up to something. And we're going to find out what it is. Oh. I can't let them get any closer to my jelly fountain than this. Hello, Rat. We've come to see what's going on. Stay back. Don't come any closer. There are lions in there. Where, Rat? They're, they're, they're hiding. They could jump out at any moment. Oh! So, when did these lions get here, Rat? Just this morning. And they're hiding? That's right, hiding. Lions do hide, you know. When will they come out? Well, that's up to the lions. They're so tricky, you might never see them. Move along now. You can't stay here. It's much too dangerous. We're going, Rat. We don't want to stay if there's lions around. Quite right, Bananas. Keep away. <laughs> oh, let's go home. I want to show you something. Oh, that was close. But they'll be back. Oh, I need something to make them believe there really are lions. And I think I have it. <laughs> I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a clever, clever rat. Look at that. Ooh. Now they are lions. Wow. And lions live in Africa. They've never lived in Cuddlestown, and they never will live in Cuddlestown. But Rat said they've just moved in this morning. How would they move from Africa to Cuddlestown? Ah. Uh, they took the bus? They must have taken the bus. Hmm, there's nothing here in the book about lions taking a bus. Then why is Rat saying there are lions here? It must be a rat trick. So let's get to the bottom of this trick. Here it is. It's just what I need. Well, this old lion costume will definitely keep everyone away. Oh, hold on. Where's the rest of the costume? Oh, I've only got the mask. Oh, well, it'll have to do. Oh, oh I can't see a thing. Oh, oh, cheese and whiskers. Can anyone see any lions? No. Look, over there. A lion! I look like a lion. Now to sound like one. Oh! Oh! That lion is howling. Lions don't howl. Wolves howl. 
Wait a moment, what am I doing? Lions don't howl, they roar. <laughs> Silly rat. Roar! Roar! That's no lion. Look on the other side of the tree. Roar! Roar! That thing might have the head of a lion, but it's got the tail of a rat in a hat. Roar! Roar! You can stop doing that now, rat. Roar! Why are you pretending to be a lion? Meow! Oh, cheese and whiskers. I must protect my jelly fountain. Follow that lion! I mean, uh, follow that rat in a hat! The fountain is mine! Ah. I don't want to share it! Ah. He's fallen in the fountain! Don't worry, rat! We'll get you out! So, rat, would you like to tell us what you're doing? Never you mind. You just leave my fountain alone. I saw it first. But why do you want the fountain rat? Is it special? It certainly is. I've got it. It's a jelly. And it's mine, because this is my jelly fountain. Jelly fountain? That's right. A fountain that gushes up jellies. And I discovered it. Rat, there's no such thing as a jelly fountain. Just like there are no lions in Cuddlestown. Then you explain this jelly to me. Look at that. A jelly dropped from the tree and right into the fountain. I don't understand this at all. There it is. It's just like before. <laughs> It's our possum friend. Hello there. <laughs> and she's taken the jelly. I think that's your explanation, Rat. <laughs> I don't believe it. The possum. Oh, cheese and whiskers. It was our possum friend all along. <laughs> she said sorry. She just likes jelly so much. And they were dropping into the fountain. Well, now that I think about it, a fountain of jelly does seem a little silly. You wanted to believe it, Rat, because you were greedy for jellies. Me? Greedy? Yes. yes. Well, maybe I was a little greedy. We forgive you, Rat. I suppose I only have one thing to say now. Jellies, anyone? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, cheese and whiskers. 